Some people may miss the lecture, online phase, uh, people don't have devices, many people don't have phones and mobile phones to avail there, but they should not miss the lecture. That's the only thing, and for the revision purposes, you can have it. Okay? Okay. So let's get started. So first of all, we should say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So we're talking about the JavaScript. But the JavaScript comes, I told you yesterday, there is an HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, and CSS. Both of these guys have nothing to do with the functionality of the site. For example, I will show you the little site we just created two days back in that MERN stack. Uh, where is my VS Code? Yeah, this is the this is the site. Okay, let me show you. Let us run it. Uh, just pause it off. Go live. Okay, let me get it on the screen. One second. Index.html. Okay, go live. Now, you can see this site here. Okay, is my is this site visible? Now, if you see the site here, this we created just a simple HTML and CSS application where we have a logo in between and some animations and we have the sidebar there when you uh, hover the mouse, it uh, pries open and then the menu system which is getting this. This is just a beginning kind of a student project, okay? Okay, some logos here. But if I just cut its, if I do one thing, I will cut its, you know, I will cut its CSS. I just cut its CSS. I will just cut the CSS here, which is linked with this CSS file, this style.css, this one. If I cut it, which is here, I just comment it out. So I, my file is not linked with the CSS. What will happen to the, what will happen to the page? You see what happened to the page? There is no style at all. It's just a structure. Now this is just the HTML markup things, but there is no look and feel, right? So CSS gives that beauty to the site. So if I uh, go it again, I say command and forward slash or control or forward slash to uncomment my line, this style sheet. Now if I go again, here you go. It gives the beauty to the site. See now everything pans out perfectly. So that means CSS is giving look and feel to your site. But now here, this was just a, you know, elementary project. I'm just teaching HTML right now. They have to go long. Then, then if we say, we click the about, we do something, and I want this, 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 uh, this uh, website to work, to have functionality, then I have to put on the JavaScript in it. So without JavaScript, I can't do anything. Because this HTML and CSS, they're markup. Like I am saying, hey, put up the, my, my text here put up this thing here, put up that thing here. But it doesn't give any logic that now we, we want to have some kind of a logic. I told you yesterday that HTML is like the skeleton, okay? Now the CSS is given this blonde here, my color and all, put the nose. The nose you create by the HTML and the coloring of the nose or the eye you create it with the CSS, the coloring and all and aesthetics. What about the JavaScript? JavaScript is the brain because it makes it nose work, the functionality of the nose or the eye. You can create an eye, you can design an eye, but the functionality So your JavaScript is like the brain. Understood? Now, in the JavaScript, the first, first question comes in how I link JavaScript with my page. Okay, I have here some page, for example, I create, uh, I created this whole new project, maybe I go to file, uh, open folder, okay, I go to the desktop, and I create a new folder here, I call it JavaScript, okay. So create this folder, open, and it opens up in the VS Code, you can do with me if you, you are ready with the VS Code, I will go slow. In the JavaScript, I will create here the one file, called index.html. Index is very important, but I'm not gonna tell you the HTML part why I created the name index. And then I create one folder here. The folder name is JavaScript. And in this folder, I create here a new file. There are on the top, there are this file creation, this is folder creation. Okay, simple. By this you create the folder, by this you create the, you must have done because you have 
uh, done the two units that means you have you'll be well proficient in the VS code and all that so I don't have to speak about those things in JavaScript folder I create a new file and I call it script dot JS that means JavaScript now you see VS code is putting up the JS on the back so that means this is the JavaScript file now first of all I have this index.html, I go here and use the emmet shift and exclamation mark, shift and exclamation mark, the emmet comes up, you press enter, the whole boilerplate is automatically done by the VS code, you know that, you must be knowing that, I don't have to tell it, but maybe some physics guys may be uh, not proficient in this, so that's why I'm repeating, because th these things you have done it in the day one of your uh, syllabus. Now I said use the emmet and use the boiler printer. What, are, what is all this? You know this uh, because this is HTML, you have done it. Now in the body tag, okay, in the body, I want just one H1, which is telling me learning uh, JavaScript. Okay, and I just give it a go. I will go live here. Uh, and I got the learning JavaScript here. The H1 tag is coming up here, right? Now I go back to my uh, VS Code here, and here I can have two ways to link JavaScript with my file, okay? I am telling you that JavaScript is like a brain. It make your nose work. Should your nose be first made or not? Or you pull the functionality first? What will you do? You will create first nose, and then functionality or you first create functionality then nose you definitely should have the first nose right so that means you should first have the html okay then you can put javascript on it so that is why we usually put javascript if i am putting javascript on the same file as that of an html okay if you are not if you anybody you have missed your classes html classes and css classes and you are not so you may find it tough, otherwise it is like an ABC. It's like a nursery thing, what I'm telling you. Because my fourth grade, uh, my kid is in fourth grade, he's also learning the same things. So it's not a big deal. Do you understand? He's in just fourth grade. And he's learning same things, what you are learning. So it is not a big deal. But you may have missed classes, then you may, you may, it may seem like a Greek. Now here, I'm saying that I will build my HTML in the body, whatever HTML I have. And in the end, I would like to add up some JavaScript to it. So how? We have a script tag. We say script, S-C-R-I-P-T. You just write S-C, it will give you. VS Code will give you the option. If you are not getting properly, don't worry. I will have a video for you guys. You can watch it later also. Concentrate. If you are not, because I don't know how much you have read uh, previously, HTML and all, because uh, I suppose you should have read, you know, you should be well versed in the HTML and CSS, then come to the JavaScript. But if you are not, you, you have to go a little slow, no problem. You will watch the video later on and do it on the, but do it on your laptops, on your devices. If you're not doing, then it's a problem. Script, we have a script tag, you just press enter, it will create a script tag for you, okay? In this script tag, you can write the whole JavaScript you want. So for example, I'm ju just putting up some alert. Alert is a message box, okay? And I'm saying here in a double quotes or in a single quotes because in, in Java script uh, strings can be put in double quotes or single quotes. It's your choice. Okay. So we say as alaikum. Okay. as alaikum. Now this is the JavaScript loaded within the same HTML file. This is the one way we can do it. If we go to the running page, so it, it is running now. See, assalamu alaikum, coming up as a dialog box. This is the alert box. This is what alert box is. We can later change it to the yes, no, and all other things. But right now, alert box is this, this thing, which is saying assalamu alaikum. And anybody tell me what is this 127.0.0.1 and what is this 5500 from your HTML classes? Anyone having an idea about it? Address. Why is it showing me 127.0.0.1 and then 5500? What is this 5500 and what is this? Sir, it is a port. Which one is port? 5500. What do you mean by port? Sir, 
मतलब जिस पे रिक्वेस्ट लेता है व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पोर्ट फर्स्टली एंड व्हाट इज दिस 127.0.0.1 सर एड्रेस किसका एड्रेस है सर इसी वेब पेज का जो आपने लिखा है you don't have a clear idea so i i recommend you to watch those videos it has a lot of you know it has a lot of uh, knowledge in that uh, playlist jo maine share kiya na aapke sath wo basic html uh, ke videos hai i would like you guys to watch that there is a detailed stuff on it because you need to know those things before coming to javascript so you have to work harder go to the especially the it guys you should be knowing all these things because you have to be you know kind of a this is a career option for you even though for physics guys this is also a career option for you. it's a vocational course so don't make it just an ordinary class you have to understand each and every bit then and only then you can dive into the web development do you understand so okay now i gave it one way that i put up the script tag within the html document or कल जाके जो है ना जब आप बहुत ज़्यादा पेज बनाओगे उसमें उसमें आपका बहुत ज़्यादा जावास्क्रिप्ट आ जाएगा तो उस सूरत में हम कहेंगे यार तू एच में ही कहाँ डाल रहा है ये तो मैं सब हो गया यू शुड पुट अप सपरेट जावास्क्रिप्ट फाइल अलग रखो और एच फाइल अलग रखो बात समझ आ रही है राविया हम कह रहे हैं आपकी जब आपका एच बहुत बड़ा अभी तो मेरे कुछ लिखा ही नहीं अभी कुछ है नहीं लेकिन जब आप एक मामूली सा भी पेज बनाओगे वो लंबी चौड़ी फाइल बन जाएगी एच की अब जावास्क्रिप्ट खुद अपना एक लंबा चौड़ा हो जाएगा तो वो आप इसमें क्यों रखोगे ठीक है ना तो हम कहते हैं कि नहीं आपको ऐसे नहीं करना चाहिए आई जस्ट कॉमेट इट आउट तो स्क्रिप्ट यहाँ नहीं बल्कि आप एक अलग फोल्डर बनाओ जावास्क्रिप्ट नाम रखो उसमें उसमें एक फाइल बनाओ स्क्रिप्ट डॉट जे रखो ये चीज़ें आप इधर करो जो भी आपको ना ये करनी है किसकी जावा स्क्रिप्ट का मैं कुछ कर नहीं रहा मैं सिर्फ सलाम लिख रहा हूँ ओके ओके लेकिन अगर मैं अब अपने पेज पे आ जाऊंगा इट इज नॉट रनिंग इट इज नॉट रनिंग वाई सिंपल क्वेश्चन सिंपल थिंग अभी लिंक ही नहीं किया एब्सोल्यूटली राबिया वेरी गुड नाइस माशाल्लाह। बिकॉज हमने इस स्क्रिप्ट फाइल को अपने एच के साथ लिंक नहीं किया सो वी हैव टू लिंक इट सो वी कैन लिंक इट एनी वेयर इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम वी कैन लिंक इट एनी वेयर यू लाइक सो वी हैव द स्क्रिप्ट colon then we say colon src source we have a script tag and we are telling it that source where is my where is my source where is that file javascript file arsalan where is that javascript file name the folder of that shabash beta sir kaun sa wala arsalan main wala ki dusra wala chalo aap hi bata do yaar सर जावास्क्रिप्ट फोल्डर के अंदर स्लैश जावास्क्रिप्ट स्क्रिप्ट डॉट जे एस वेरी गुड माशाला जावा स्क्रिप्ट फोल्डर में है सो आई विल राइट हेयर आई जस्ट पुट में जे ये मैं मुझे खुद ही दिखाएगा आई पुट एंटर एंड फिर फॉरवर्ड स्लैश और जावा स्क्रिप्ट के अंदर कौन सी फाइल है स्क्रिप्ट डॉट जे एस वो दिखाई रहा है उस पर क्लिक मार रहा है खाली तो हो गया काम अब मेरा जावा स्क्रिप्ट जो राबिया बता रही थी मेरा बच्चा कि आपने लिंक नहीं किया आपका जो जावा स्क्रिप्ट की फाइल है अब मैंने वो कर ली मैंने जावा स्क्रिप्ट की फाइल लिंक कर ली अपने एच के साथ नाउ इट शुड वर्क नाउ इट्स वर्किंग बिंगो द सलाम इज कमिंग अप राइट कैन यू सी द सलाम इज माई स्क्रीन विजिबल नाइस सो वट आई हैव डन इज सक्सेसफुली इज आई हैव लिंकड ए जावा स्क्रिप्ट फाइल विद मई एच टी एम एल बट यू हैव टू स्टॉप इट इज कंपेनियन मोड समथिंग लाइक दैट वट वट हैज ई डन companion mode or something anyways now what has he done what has the javascript done javascript will help in the functionality of my site i have not built any site right now i am just linked the index with the javascript the next thing which comes in a mind is the data types is what the data types because no matter what you do in any pro because i told you javascript is a proper programming language your html was not a programming language your css is not a programming language they are just markups they are just telling you that you make a button and button gets gets created it's like that only it won't do some if else the logic won't be happen there there will be no if else switch classes loops or anything like that where you can you can test things and you run some program 
you run some logic. Like yesterday, I told you that I had to buy buy the Puma boot no, shoes. I have to do tons tons of filtering. Now we have to use the FLCs. If the discount is so much, if the color is blue, if the size is seven, if the discount is this, then go and give it to me. It will not be able to do your HTML and CSS because it is not a programming language. But your JavaScript, it is all those things which are modern programming language. Every damn thing in a modern programming language it is in the JavaScript. Be it in object-oriented concepts. Be it is high end modularity, whatever you name it, everything is in the JavaScript. Do you understand? So that is why JavaScript is a proper programming language. And agar I have, I have, I web developer banna hai, to JavaScript jo hai na, it should be in your blood. Because JavaScript ke upar har ek cheez aaj kal hai. But I would like to ask a question to the Janice Kazi. Janice Kazi seems to be a very serious student. I love the students like that, writing, sitting in front, beautiful. But Farhan, you seem to be a good student, but you should not laugh unnecessary and all. It, it amounts to the, even though you may be a good student, I don't know you, you may be a good student, but it, it amounts to indiscipline. And I can do anything, but I do not compromise on discipline. Keep that in your mind. I'm a very soft guy. I'm not a hard guy. I'm very soft. I'm lovable. I'm, I want to help people. Very soft. But when it comes to discipline, I become the toughest. Because if you have to teach teacher, then the discipline student is not in the class, then they will Simple si baat hai. So, Janis Kazi, what is the difference between web design and web development? Uh, web design is a blueprint of the website. Yeah. Blueprint. Right? Uh, web development is a functionality of the end product. Hota hai, wo hota hai. What do you mean with the blueprint? So who will develop the who will do the designing, and what what in what he will do you he will use HTML CSS what will he use to create the design? Design design structure structure HTML रहता है वो जो उसकी design ही होती है उसकी उसका जो कह सकते हैं aesthetics या वो CSS देता है. Will that be called design? नहीं वो डेवलपमेंट में आएगा डिजाइन में नहीं आएगा डिजाइन में डिजाइन में आएगा जो ना इनिशियल मतलब जो एक ये होता है मोजिन शाह यू कैन ओपन अप द मोजिन शाह इज सेइंग समथिंग यू कैन ओपन अप द माइक एंड स्पीक यस सर ओपन अप द माइक स्पीक अप यस सर एम आई ऑडिबल यस so I'm saying uh, designing is the process when we design and we uh, in a way for example if we have to design a house we first get the structure and you know and everything and development is the actual uh, building of the house and designing is basically like where is going to be you know where will be the bathroom where will be the, will be the kitchen and everything and then development is the actual building of house you're right this is what Jenny's also said a little bit but he was a little confused and he corrected himself but uh, what Software, what programming language you use in the design? We can use uh, softwares that are built for designing purposes only. Like, UX, like Figma, and there are many other softwares that we can use for designing. Maybe purposes. Photoshop, whatever Photoshop, whatever Illustrator. But yeah, are we using use any that. programming language? No, we are not using programming no, language. No, we are not. No. Because That's designing, just, what uh, Mozin Shah said, is perfectly that you have to create a house. You go to the architect first, he design on a piece of paper. Have you heard about the mock-ups and wireframes? Yes, What's the difference between mock-up and wireframe? If I do here like this on the piece of paper using the pen, I'm telling you here is the button, here is this side, aside, jaha menu aega, yaha pe pictures aengi, yaha pe ye aega. What is this? Is this a mock-up or it's a wireframe? I will have an assignment. Write an assignment. Write assignment. Look, look, dude, if you, want, if you are not serious students, you will do nothing in this class. Keep that in mind. You have to be serious students and you have to know every inch of it if you want to land into some good company. You getting my point, beta? Mary Jan, this is your time, it's very important. Now you are young, you have to work, you have to work, but if you come to a casual approach, that HTML, CSS, all the world comes to you. 
यार कॉमर्स वाला बच्चा उसको भी एच टी अच्छे से आती हैं उसको मन स्टैक में पढ़ा रहा हूँ उसमें कॉमर्स बच्चे बैठे हैं और वो भी जॉब कर रहे हैं बैंक में जो मैं अभी पढ़ा रहा हूँ और उसे फोर हंड्रेड में ले रहा हूँ खाली वो एक मैंने एक्चुअली जो नॉलेज में दे रहा हूँ वो बहुत सारी है लेकिन मैं सिर्फ फोर पर मंथ ले रहा हूँ क्यों क्योंकि मैं चाहता हूँ कि मैं किसी के लिए काम करूँ वहाँ पर कॉमर्स बच्चे बैठे हैं उनको भी एच टी आती है लेकिन थोड़ी ना वो बड़ी कंपनीज में बैठेंगे वो आप लोग जो प्योर जो कंप्यूटर साइंस पढ़ते हैं ना वो वाले बच्चे या वो सीरियस बच्चे बैठेंगे वरना आपको छोटे बच्चे आज फोर्थ क्लास में पढ़ रहा हूँ मेरे बिस्को में पढ़ता है फोर्थ क्लास में पढ़ रहा हूँ उसको भी एच आ जाती है ही डेवलप अ ब्यूटिफुल साइट वो फोर्थ क्लास में पढ़ रहा है डू यू अंडरस्टैंड सो बी सीरियस स्टूडेंट्स लर्न ईच एंड एवरी थिंग मॉकअप वर्सेज मुझे बताओ मॉकअप वर्सेज वायर फ्रेम वो क्या होता है इस पर काम करो वट इज़ द वायर फ्रेम वर्सेज मॉकअप और हमारा जो अगर आप प्ले लिस्ट देख रहे हो उसमें एक कहीं ना कहीं वो होगा इन द बिगनिंग क्लासेस मॉकअप वर्सेज फ्रेम सो एनी वेज डिज़ाइन इज ऑनली द पीस ऑफ पेपर देन यू कैन यूज सम कलरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर वायर कैन कलर बट इट्स नॉट द एक्चुअल थिंग वाई बिकॉज यूजर आएगा वो बोलेगा मुझे ये तो नहीं चाहिए जैसे मकान आपने हैं मैं मकान बना के दूंगा फिर यूजर आएगा बोलेगा मैंने उसमें बाथरूम यहाँ पर जरूरत थी मैं उस यहाँ पर गहरा आई जरूरत मैं उस ड्राइंग रूम यम साइड जरूरत बुक फट रहा हूँ मकान लेकिन मैं क्या करूँगा काम मैं उसको पीस ऑफ पेपर दूंगा उस पे बना के दूंगा सुन फुट रही था का कुछ दो बना पा दो दिस इज डिजाइन डू अंडरस्टैंड सो डिजाइन इज ऑन द पीस ऑफ पेपर देन आई थ्रो इट वेन आई एम फाइनलाइज विद कस्टमर द कस्टमर इज सेटिस्फाइड then i go to the development the moment i go to the development there are two developments in the development we have the front end development and the back end development front end mein aapka html css aur javascript lagega aur back end mein aapka pehle wahan pe server software hone chahiye jaise maine kaha tha apache jo server pe lagega kyunki maine kaha tha three tier architecture front end jo aapko dikhega user ko server aur fir database database mein apne software server mein apne software और आजकल आप जावास्क्रिप्ट इधर भी इस्तेमाल करते हो इधर भी इस्तेमाल करते हो जो मैंने कल आपको समझाया ठीक है ना हो गया तो अभी हम क्या कह रहे थे डेटा टाइप्स जो हमारे डेटा टाइप्स हैं वो बेसिक चीज होती है एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज को पहली बात कि आप डेटा को कैसे रख रहे हो पहली बात यहां पर जो डेटा आपके पास है वो डायनेमिकली टाइप्ड है डायनेमिकली टाइप डायनेमिकली टाइप मतलब होता है कि जैसे आपने सी पढ़ा होगा उसमें लिखते थे हम इंट ए कैर भाई ये कैर है भाई ये स्ट्रिंग है भाई ये फ्लोट है भाई ये डबल है यहाँ लिखने की कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है यहाँ आप ए को ए इज इक्वल टू जुनैद ये खुद इसको स्ट्रिंग बना देगा डेटा टाइप लेकिन डेटा टाइप अंदर से होगा बट इट विल बी डायनेमिकली टाइप मीन्स आपका जो जावा स्क्रिप्ट रेंडरिंग इंजन है वो खुद इसका डेटा टाइप देगा ऑन द बेस ऑफ कॉन्टेंट आपने इसी ए को दिया 24 ये इसको इंटीजर दे देगा बनाएगा ठीक है लेकिन डेटा टाइप होगा जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल हम यहां पे अभी जाएंगे स्क्रिप्ट में ये यहां पे मैं कहूंगा वेर ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थ्री अब जो ए है मैंने इसको वेर से बनाया वी हैव द थ्री थिंग्स वी हैव वेर वी हैव लेट एंड वी हैव कॉनस्ट ये थ्री टैग्स आप याद रखो वेर लेट एंड कॉनस्ट अब वेर और लेट में क्या फर्क है हम समझेंगे अगर टाइम मुझे मिलेगा फिलहाल मुझे ये बताऊंगा मैं यहाँ पे कि अगर आपने यहाँ वेर नहीं लिखा तब भी ये वेर है अगर आपने नहीं लिख रहे हो तो ये वेर ही है बाई डिफॉल्ट तो आप लिखो वेर वेर मीन शॉर्ट फॉर वेरेबल लेकिन इसमें फर्क बहुत है वेर और लेट में अगर मैंने कहा वेर इज गुड ट्वेंटी थ्री अब मैं कह रहा हूँ ए इज इक्वल टू जुनाद इट ड मैटर एंड टर्मिनेटर ऑन द बैक Now, if I say like, for example, you see, I say here, uh, we can say console dot log. We can say what? जैसे आप करते हो ना C में आप print f करते हो. So we can use console dot log, and I will say here in single quote or double quote you like strings दोनों चलता है. Data type of a equals to. Then I concatenate it with type of function. विच इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट फंक्शन टाइप ऑफ जो मुझे बताते हैं डेटा टाइप क्या है बंदे का मैं कह रहा हूँ ए का डेटा टाइप क्या है मुझे बता दो ठीक है मैंने हालांकि यहाँ पे लिखा कुछ स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग साइड में नहीं मैंने नहीं लिखा मैंने स्ट्रिंग नहीं लिखा मैंने खाली कहा ए इज इक्वल क्योंकि आपके जावा स्क्रिप्ट में वेरेबल्स और डायनेमिकली 
टाइप्ड यानी कि आपको डेटा टाइप देने की जरूरत नहीं है सो हाउ डेटा टाइप विल बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय द कंटेंट द जावा स्क्रिप्ट रेंडरिंग इंजन वी एट जो आपका क्रोम का है वो कंटेंट देखा कंटेंट देखेगा जुनाद स्ट्रिंग है तो, तो ए का डेटा टाइप स्ट्रिंग होगा अगर हम देखेंगे अपने ब्राउजर में सो so, ये लिंक हो गया ना इसके साथ सो लेट मी पोर्ट इट आउट फर्स्ट डिस्पोज ऑफ एंड देन गो लाइव अगेन सो लेट मी गो इट्स कमिंग ऑन दिस स्क्रीन Let me put it on this screen. One second, it's going on the other screen. Okay, here we are. I say okay. Right click and now I say inspect. And go to the console here. And now it is telling me data type of. अपने पाव लिखना है आपके जगह. A is equal to string. दिखा रहे हैं string. ठीक है. बाकी यार ये लाइव सर्वर का है उसको छोड़ें आप ये देखें आप डेटा टाइप ऑफ ए इज वट स्ट्रिंग यानी कि डेटा टाइप है ऐसा नहीं कि डेटा टाइप नहीं है अगर मैं ये बंद करूंगा यू से कमांड और कंट्रोल फॉरवर्ड स्लैश अगर आपके पास मैक है तो कमांड फॉरवर्ड स्लैश सो कंट्रोल फॉरवर्ड स्लैश करे तो ये कॉमेंट आउट करेगा इसको अब आपको ये वाला एम एड है ना इफ यू चक द सेम थिंग हियर वट इज द डेटा टाइप ऑफ ए इट इज ए नंबर इट्स वट नंबर यहां पे अगर आपका फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट है जैसे ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट मैंने ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट कर दिया नाउ इट इज अ फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट ओके बट इफ यू सी द डेटा टाइप डेटा टाइप ऑफ ए इज नंबर ये यहां पे सिंपल है जो आपके बाकी लैंग्वेज होते हैं ना उसमें फ्लोट अलग होता है उसमें डबल uh, होता है यहां पर और इंटीजियर होता है अलग लॉन्ग इंट वगैरह वगैरह हमारे पास यहाँ पे एक ही डेटा टाइप है दैट इज कॉल्ड नंबर फॉर एवरी ऑल दिस फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट और रियल नंबर एंड ऑल ठीक है सो डेटा टाइप इज नंबर लेकिन क्या मैंने डेटा टाइप दिया मैंने डेटा टाइप नहीं दिया तो डेटा टाइप किसने निकाला रेंडरिंग इंजन ने खुद निकाला ऑन द बेस ऑफ कंटेंट समझ में आया मैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहां पे कहूंगा ए इज इक्वल ट्रू ओके मैंने इसमें ट्रू डाला ट्रू और फॉल्स नाउ इफ यू सी द डेटा टाइप ऑफ इट ओके एंड यू सी इट इज बुलियन So, आपने डेटा टाइप नहीं दिया जा स्क्रिप्ट ने खुद इसका जो कंटेंट देख के इसका डेटा टाइप किया तो फिलहाल हम पहले एक बात करेंगे यहाँ पे ऑन दिस द लास्ट बात हम करेंगे दैन वी कंटिन्यू दिस क्लास टुमारो बिकॉज वी गेटिंग लेट दैट वी आर सेइंग वेरिएबल्स रिमेंबर दिस थिंग राइट डाउन विद ऑन द कापी वेरिएबल्स ओके वेरिएबल्स आर आदर प्रिमिटिव ओके we have three categories of variables either they are primitive or they are trivial or they are objects okay so data types are three types primitive trivial objects remember that every next day you comes in i will ask you the question if you are not serious student i will remove you because i don't want here any trash i want here students only who are learning whosoever they are I will work harder than anything. You ask me any question, you tell me, sir, please repeat something hundred times. I have a lot of patience. I will do that for you. But if you are serious students, if there is a non-serious student, I will kick him off. Simple as it is. So next time you come in, you should maintain the copy. You can watch the video if you miss something. You, you can you have got a second chance. You can watch the video on a YouTube, and then come back tomorrow. I ask you questions and answer back. so variables are of primitive data type primitive can be firstly just we saw the number so when i say primitive that means they are not objects they are normal variables like we have in a c we can have the strings in primitive and we can have the boolean okay like all the three we saw like boolean is like true and false right string is on any data type the string okay and then there is a numbers which take up any floating point numbers so numbers you must be knowing the computer science guy this is 64 bit uh that's called i triple e 754 734 okay i triple e 734 this is the you you must be knowing how we represent numbers floating point numbers in the computer there is a sub special way of writing the floating points in a num in this uh, in the computers and that is done by the 64 bit 654 i triple 654 just if you don't know you should be knowing it in your digital electronics class anyways and the boolean is true false the strings we know 
in a trivial we can have the null okay and we have one more what's called undefined undefined is also a data type which is trivial that if you don't define any data type to any variable and you are saying what is the data type we will say it, it is a trivial it's an undefined and then there are objects you create there are everything is object later on whatever you create that's an object you create a class and create an object of it everything is object that means you have some class what is an object you have some class and you create instance of this class now this say a class which is written here now when you create an instance of this class in the heap memory the heap area of memory this object is created this one is created and some reference variable is pointing to it so we call it as an object so everything is object then later on we will see it later on everything is based on the object so right now i said we have three types of variables what are these primitive trivial and object right so we got three major categories numbers strings and boolean and we got here variable trivial and we have the object is that clear okay i will end this class with 302 it's uh class time is over more than over uh, you may be going to some you have some other classes also right now do you have some other classes also to join